Let us stand and sing our opening hymn. Miss Catherine here, together with my friends Nancy and Stephanie from Songbird, to bring you this Sunday's Children's Church. We're in the third week of Lent on our journey towards Easter. Let's begin with the sign of our faith. Can you join me? Here we go. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Together, let's prepare our hearts to meet Jesus in his word today by first asking God to give us his mercy for those times when we know we've done wrong. Lord Jesus, you came to earth to save us from sin. Lord, have mercy. And you say, Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you pour your love into our hearts. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen, amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you are the giver of every good gift. Pour your love into our hearts that we might love as you love and invite others to do the same. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, your son, in unity with the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever, amen. Now, let's join our friend Songbird as we sing our song. The law of the Lord is perfect. It gives new life. His teachings last forever, and they give wisdom to his people.
The Lord's instruction is right. It makes our hearts glad. His commandments shine brightly and they give us light. All of his decisions are correct and fair. They are worth more than the finest gold. Now, let us sing our gospel acclamation. from the Holy Gospel according to John. Repeat and follow after me. Glory to you, O Lord. Not long before the Jewish festival of the Passover, Jesus went to Jerusalem. There he found people selling cattle, sheep, and doves in the temple. He also saw money changers sitting at their tables. So he took some rope and made a whip. Then he chased everyone out of the temple, together with their sheep and cattle. He turned over the tables of the money changers and scattered their coins. Jesus said to the people who had been selling doves, Get those doves out of here. Don't make my father's house a marketplace. The disciples then remembered what the scriptures say, My love for your house burns in me like a fire. The Jewish leaders asked Jesus, What miracle will you work to show us why you have done this? Destroy this temple, Jesus answered, and in three days I will build it again. The leaders replied, It took 46 years to build this temple. What makes you think you can rebuild it in three days? But Jesus was talking about his body as a temple, and when he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered what he had told them. Then they believed the scriptures and the words of Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Repeat after me. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Together, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Friends, thank you for joining me for another Children's Church this Sunday. Today's Gospel reminds us that we need to keep the temple of our hearts in beautiful order for him. What does this mean? This means we want to make sure that our love for our friends and our family and for God are all in the right place. And those things that stop us from loving our friends and our neighbors in a way that is like Jesus, that we would call sin, we need to make sure that we chase that out of our life. So today, I want you to think about those times when you know you could have made better choices. When by your actions, I can think of the actions that I've done as well, by our actions, we know that we've fallen short of loving like Jesus loves. And maybe we've even turned away from the right path. What are some examples? Well, maybe we decided that we wanted to be selfish and not share our toys in a situation where it would be good to do so. 
Maybe our mom or dad asked us to do something and instead of saying yes cheerfully right away, we instead stomped our feet and got mad at our mom and dad and said, no, I won't do that. Maybe we failed to do something that we were asked to do by our parents. Maybe we were mean to a friend or to somebody on the playground. Maybe we joined in teasing somebody because we wanted to feel cool. There's lots of different ways when we fall short of the love of Jesus Christ. And these things are like all of that clutter that was in the temple in our story today. And so we want to invite Jesus in to make a holy mess inside our hearts, to chase away all those things that stop us from loving as he loves, so that the temple of our hearts can be dedicated to God the Father alone, and so that we can rest in there and pray to him and love in peace our family, our friends, our neighbors, and all those we meet. Now, let us pray the prayer that Jesus Christ taught us together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you everyone for joining me. I have a coloring page just for you that your mom or dad can print off. It is in our comment box or description, which might be above or below, depending on how you're joining us for Children's Church today. I look forward to seeing you next week on our journey towards Easter this Lent. Bye St. Anne's kids. Bye.